Well, I think today's event is absolutely fantastic. It is imperative that we reach out to children while they're still at primary school um, and to start them thinking about their future. We've brought together primary school children with apprentices and our apprentices are just the best advocates of what we do in the college but also what an apprentice is all about. Here today at Falkirk Wheel to give a, a chat about um, engineering and the apprentices involved in engineering to the young children because I think it's very important that kids of both genders, male and female, get involved in this because there's thousands of opportunities out there. At college, basically I learn all types of engineering. I do maths as well, we do science, we do chemistry, but the main bit that I like about college is the hands-on. So we're in the workshop, we're using the tools, we're wiring plugs, we're setting up electrical circuits. Well, we're here and we're like learning about engineering and different engineering, and then we're talking about how the Falkirk wheel got built. The apprentices told us a bit about themselves and then we went outside to go to the Falkirk wheel and we've been on it and learnt a, learnt a lot about it. And these, these chaps behind me, going on to the, the, the wheel now, they are the future for what we would call a skills pipeline, quite corny in engineering terms. But we need to be working in the primary sector, all the way through the, the secondary, into the senior phase, into college, into university, into apprenticeships, into jobs, to give people as much of an opportunity to understand what options there are out there. It's never too early to be encouraging our young people to think about what jobs they would like to pursue. Of course, we don't expect 11 year olds to have all the answers um, about their lives, but given that the heritage that we have here in Falkirk and the fantastic uh, Fort Valley College and good opportunities that can take young people anywhere in their future careers. Determining the young workforce is a very, very important part of the Scottish Government's new initiative. Having the Minister here, Angela Constance, is very important so that she can see what's happening within Falkirk because we feel we have great opportunities for our young people, not only in primary school but through secondary school and on to further and higher education. Because this is done in partnership with Falkirk and I think Falkirk Council are absolutely pathfinders in this, the school college partnership, the, 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 the link with developing Scotland's young workforce, because Falkirk get it the need to work with a primary school right through secondary into college and university and working with employers. There we had five employers there and putting forward their apprentices. That is something the council really do get and I think it's, it's, it's going to be great for, for the future of this community. We were going on the Falkirk Creole in Burrix and then we came here and experimented like all over the different things. Here how they've done it and how they made all the different plastics. I was at Labatt High School and I applied here straight out of school. Well, for me it was the ability to actually come down on site and get a hands-on approach to the work as well as in the classroom. It's a really good standard of training, and, uh, but you get to come down and apply what you've been learning at college uh, to an actual job. And it's, I just find that that's a really good experience. Like a certain job is not just for a boy and there's a certain job for girls. Like it, that's just like saying a hairdresser's for just girls and then like working for cars is just for boys when it's not. It really has inspired me to think seriously about engineering. So. We are here to showcase the modern apprenticeship mainly. It gives them a, a, a realistic working experience. Uh, there's a great opportunity to obviously uh, practice their skills, hone their skills whilst uh, working with live clientele. It's a great opportunity for them. Hey, I'm Shannon. I work full time in McDonald's since I left school and I'm hoping to go to college in August to do hospitality. I'm hoping to find out more about the course and modern apprenticeships for when I start in August. Yeah. And I think that it's really important that pupils realise that this is a viable career, a viable path, a future pathway for them, um, rather than the standard uni or college courses or just going into employment. So the fact that the college is putting on this event to try and raise the profile of apprenticeships I think is fantastic. If, I, if, this, if this event wasn't here, I, would, I wouldn't know anything about modern apprenticeship at all. But uh, I've just been sitting there at the table there and talking to the women and I've already found out so much about 
about what the apprenticeship is. Um, so I think it's a, it's a great event for people. So pupils that are doing are coming to college are really enjoying coming to college, but I think they feel very important today, and they they really love having this experience. We've got 17 members of staff um, going through MAs at the moment and, and their age range is from 16 to 65. There's a huge benefit to one to the company and um, you know it gives real good motivation to, to the staff. Um, at, at any age um, it gives a structured training. There's maybe a, a, a positive impact on our insurance uh, with our, our industry recognised qualification. Skills Development Scotland, we understand that youth unemployment is high on the, the government's agenda just now. We're looking at providing a large contribution for 16 to 19 year olds and for those that are 20 to 24 we're looking at 50% of the cost of training and also with selected and targeted industries there is funding available so you're getting all that funding plus you're getting add-ons such as flexible training opportunities, low carbon skills fund and your skills planning tools like skills for growth in conjunction with investors and people so I mean the list is endless really. It's, it's really quite expensive to take on somebody nowadays so you've got to make sure that you've got, got the right people with the right skills and I think that what came across to me today is that we could maybe get some kind of person, we could maybe sort of tailor something around our work that we could bring um, the qualifications to match our work and we would have somebody trained to do the, the, specific, the specific areas that we do. Well, I think it is kind of hard because you don't, well, there's people that come out of school and they're not interested in uni so they try and find a job but it's kind of hard so I think a modern apprenticeship is easier because like they know that you're just starting from the beginning. We've got like loads of other websites and like people's numbers and stuff, so we good. And like people have to guard our details, so they'll contact us if they find any employer. Yeah, it was really useful.